immersion clinic. A minute ahead of schedule, actually. Oh, now it's two. Goody. Goody, goody, goody. So, yesterday it was about crisis communication bot and one campaign bot. And today, actually, in LinkedIn, I was asking if there could maybe be some ideas of what kind of bots I should be creating today. And Adam uh, threw an idea about adding conversions and when it comes to uh, source business. So let's say the I'll check the actual comment that Adam left. So the source use case would be a good one, qualifying and converting more inbound leads. So let's get going from there. Uh, if there would be any some particular SARS in mind, I would definitely be happy to help with that as well. But we can go, I don't know, let's go with Lido as an example. Whereas we, of course, have <laughs> already something <laughs> going on. But <clears throat> let's actually open up the resources as well because there is this one blog post that highlights the key parts also when it comes to this particular use case. So, how would we start with generating more? Uh, or converting more inbound leads when it comes to a SaaS business. First things first, bots live on a website. So what kind of site is it? How, would it, how, how it is to navigate through? Can you easily understand what it's all about? So uh, do you understand the product or service? And especially when it comes to software, it it might be at times hard to grasp the immediate value prop and that would be definitely something to look into so let's say let's open up HubSpot okay so how does it look how does it feel do you understand easily what it like what it can do with it uh, what is their value proposition? Okay, then here's the different pro product setups. Okay, okay, okay. But what is what it actually is is stated quite well here. But it's only get started buttons. It's no additional information. And then here's for more detailed information on product packaging. Go and see a catalog. Okay, like not to shame anyone uh, anywhere, but it should be as simple as possible to provide the additional information and answer the most common questions and make it as simple as possible for your inbound lead to convert. So maybe i'm gonna stick here <laughs> so <laughs> no one is uh going to get me completely wrong uh, but yeah if you were to land here would you understand what we are about that's a quite valid question luckily when you just refresh the page something appears and it's an interactive thing it catches your eye and attention, especially when we are like really, really, really short when it comes to our attention spans. At least for me personally, and based on some uh, some <laughs> actual scientists. But yeah, do you understand what's the point of the software? How to use it? How to how to buy it? Even what's the value prop of it? 
and maybe we could start building from here. I would go maybe, let's go with in page again, visual builder, There we go. And how are your website visitors usually using your page? How does their buying journey look like? Or journey whatsoever? If they are not converting, do you know where the issue is? If you are not completely 100% sure, this is definitely one way of trying to figure that one out as well as you go. So uh, it's a good way to start these kinds of bots, like really digging deep uh, and being really interested like of their situation. If I was to push my stuff, I would, if I was to sprinkle Lidu all over and like go full throttle just like about what we do and what we are, and so on, it would be so, so off putting. So, focus on the person who would, who would maybe convert later on. Let's start with single choice, maybe? Yes, definitely. So, um, As we are looking for forerunners who want to turn their online channels as one has ever seen. Could it? Is it you? Soon, tell me how. Okay, so you could use something activating like this, um, just to also like caress the ego of the buyer. So, are they looking forward of being a forerunner? Are they with them like winning mentality? So these are again these small psychological tricks we need to put to use here. I would not say it's social engineering, but we could come close. And this one I would like to give use gifts as well. Let's go with something. Let's go with this one first. Here. There we go. Then another one. This is so ridiculous. I I want I really need to use this one. You wouldn't necessarily have to, <laughs> but I will because I can. Okay, there we go. It looks a bit more neat like this. Yes. So, is it you? Yes, it is. Anyway, it is them. So now, when we are going forward, uh, we could ask like us. It's already like done here. Uh, how can we help you? What is their situation? What are they looking to have a solution for? This is really important. 
So let's actually sound to bot is quite good here. So here um, what is stopping you then? Maybe ruffling some feathers, I don't know. But like I said before, and I will repeat myself, and like loud enough so people in the back can hear this, it's important to be also personal. You can be quirky if that's aligned with your brand. So it's not the point to be douche, but it's the point to be really engaging. And the engagement part is super important and sometimes, just sometimes, these kinds of things work. Okay, so what is stopping you then? Let's say, I don't know. And then let's use my second favorite emoji. We lack the tools, we lack the data, but the results aren't there, okay? Let's add one more. Okay. Okay. Don't you worry. We're here, okay. Interesting. Do you already some sales tech in place? Yes. No, we are looking into it. Okay, like these, all of these are really important when it comes to the data you can gather from the lead. So uh, now you would know. Mm, like their motivation, how motivated they might be, then you would know like the issue. So okay, they lack the tools. Okay, do they have some tools in place already, or are they just looking into it? Because then your salesperson could have more leverage when they know like what tools do they have in place. Uh, are those integrated with with each other? Like can you move some parts of some data to another system? How does it work from there? Are you actually getting any help from your current software providers? Okay. Mm. Then we can make, maybe ask who. Cool. Actually, let's use single choice. Nah, multiple is good. Then we could ask for like what kind of systems. So these are broad topics and these have different terms in between different people. So it's really important that we can <clears throat> also keep it rather high level. Here we do not have to ask, do you use HubSpot or do you use Salesforce, Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud, whatever it might be. We do not have to go that deep at least just yet. So it would be just important, like nice to have information to get like, are you using CRM system even? 
Are you using marketing automation system? Are you using email marketing software? What kind of software do you have already in place? Let's move on. Then maybe some lead generation thing. Let's just put it lead gen. And email marketing. Business intelligence tools. Analytics tools. What? Well, we could go with this. Uh, then we can just react here, good to know. We're happy. Good to see you here, and we can't wait to hear more about you. So make it above them. People love talking about themselves. They might not be that keen to soon to admit that there is plenty of issues and tasks at hand and that their task list is completely on red and has been like that for at least past year. Nope, but they are like they're willing and they like to talk about themselves and create the trust between you. So keep it about them, but keep it also polite and friendly. Like thinking about as I've written down uh, to the design process behind a great bot blog post here. As I've said, uh, when it comes to especially lead generating bots, when you want to convert more of those inbound leads, think of it like it would be a date. Think of the whole process like dating. So would you ask someone, like imagine first date, you have switched messages because you've matched on a dating platform and you have only switched some messages then you set up a date and then you go there so would you like per first ask them to marry you or if someone would do it like do it to you would you be like a bit taken aback because of it like you have just discussed what kind of day you may have had or what, what do you do for a living and then suddenly yes I would definitely want to marry you how does it sound what no <laughs> nope I will just nope myself out of it so be friendly but don't be pushy and don't be like too keen from the very get go build trust build the relationship first and then you can think about this <laughs> other stuff i don't know if my like what i'm using here as an analog actually works but i would like to think so it's written down so it it must be true okay we lack the data let's go first from these options and then we can move on how to proceed with the bot so okay we lack the data what data what do you want to know is it your who is even visiting your website what kind of uh what from what industries maybe what kind of people in in what kind of positions so on so this again can spark another question so okay care to tell me you are looking to get so we are not asking what they're lacking because it's it's a negative connotation but what are they looking for because now, yet again, a salesperson has 
a much higher possibility to address the actual needs and questions and worries than just if we were to ask it the other way around. So what are you lacking? So okay, we are lacking this, but are they maybe looking forward at that point, telling everything and tearing, tearing up the wounds <laughs> of lacking in some sense? Okay, what kind of data are you looking to get? Understand their needs better. Their visitors, but let's keep it this way now. Um, what they are looking for. If they actually understand our product and then maybe it's better looking for if they actually understand quick fourth one we want to know oh, everything. Okay. Okay. Then these questions or like these answers here might spark like one question again. Maybe that's actually how that works. Uh, but at this point, we can also keep it light, because why not? We are, after all, wanting to get the lead, so we can then move forward and then talk more, maybe a bit later on. Okay, now we understand their situation here. And we are doing everything correctly, but the re results aren't there. I think, if not every marketeer, but at least half <laughs> have been there. And it's a pain. It really is. So it's nothing to be ashamed of, because one person is just one person. One team is just one team. and it depends quite often on so many different things, but let's see, GIF again? Would it be too soon? Yeah, maybe we skip the GIF at this point. I would have one really good Yoda GIF, but I will use it later. <coughs> Intriguing. Thinking face. This looks so weird. On Windows. There we go. And let's say at this point already that we are happy to have a chat if they are willing already. So uh, let's say. My colleagues regarding this since since it really seems like a big topic to cover here. Tricky one. But definitely Doable. Okay. Then nothing's nothing's stopping us. We just want to run even faster. GIF definitely GIF. Because this is the like. 
give time some really this one All right. We are Okay. Save. Then actually, let's check how a campaign demo that will do. How does it look this far? So, <clears throat> first question: How we can proceed from there? Okay, is it you? Okay, soon it will be me. Yes. Let's go with this path first. So what is stopping you then? I don't know. We like the tools, we like the data. We are doing everything correctly. So and again. Do you already have some sales taking place? We then we can pick whatever we like. And then we could continue the conversation. With them in the bot builder first. And here, soon tell me how. Okay. Not actually, maybe the best question there. Let's change it. And here we can also see if there's any gaps in the logic, how the bot discusses with the person interacting with it. So, that too changing it up a bit maybe we can rephrase this question at this point and then let's see is what is stopping you then an actually really good question here well what how does your current situation look like? Mm. What is not in place for you to be a foreigner in this context? There we go. And then interesting. Okay, now it makes sense. Now it makes way more sense and it's important for <laughs> for things to make sense. Yeah, then moving on. Let's let's keep going. So here, don't worry, we're here. They have just answered. They do not even know what is up and what they would need help with. So, okay, just to soothe, soothe things out, we're here. We can actually get going from that point. Um, Are you up for a chat with one of our experts to talk more how you could be a forerunner? Now it's spamming the word everywhere, but bear with me. Uh, then, 
okay, are we up for it or are we not up for it? And as I said yesterday, we are not going to give them an actual chance to say no. We are going to turn it a bit around. So, yes, please. We've, it's the first answer we want to get. So that's the first answer we are going to put to the bot as well. And same goes with basically every single CTA. So if there is like two choices or 15 choices we want the person to choose from, we put the most valuable one first and not at the very bottom. So yes please, then we can give them not a way to like back off from it because if they if there's anything they would feel the need to back off from it's most likely there's a question there's uncertainty it might be does this bind me to something if i discuss with your salesperson are they going to bombard me always like even when i'm at like at home or where, wherever are they going to just show up on <laughs> my doorstep we would never but this is something we need to address here so does this bind me something okay then we need to reassure them that this does not <clears throat> but yet again, yet again, we can be funny and personal with it. So, oh, it's a greatness. But we are not going to force anything. We are really, really, really just willing to help. Have a chat. Okay, then looking at the other answers from the other set of questions. So from here, sales, sales tech, and other systems. Uh, then we can direct this also to the very same question. Actually, there we go. Oops. Okay, more neat. And then, same thing here. We can test it how it would look if we were to put all these here. Like, are you up for a chat? Then, same goes here, <coughs> here, then all of these are addressed, then we can move on. So, no, it doesn't bind you to anything, and then here's the yes, please. Awesome. Each other a bit better. I am Jimmy's little helper. And you are, there we go. Okay, then we can put here like, nice to meet you, first name, dynamic command. What is? your email address actually not the personal question but we can we can roll with it just roll with it then and if it seems that my our emails get lost in a void phone number we can reach you um, on. Then 
Oh. Oh, I'd love to hear what company do you represent. Then we can actually use this one as a dynamic again. Thanks for sharing. Now we can already look into into this a bit more. Then we are all set here. Would you like? And then now we can give them an option to ask questions or leave us with additional information. But these are always the fields that we would not prefer to go first, unless, unless with one exception, <laughs> if we have given them the option to, oh, I want to ask a question in the very beginning of the dialogue. But now it's not there, so we are not going to go there at all. So. Would you like to leave a note of your own for our team? Questions, information about your situation, your goals and dreams. Then, nah. I'll wait for your contact. Then we just push the other, which is the open field. Then, okay, uh, please do share. We love to hear it. Emoji of a sword. Rocket again. Like during these streams, you will, at at least at some point, start to notice these same kind of patterns I use with the emojis, like my personal preferences when it comes to this. We love to hear it. Okay, then. Okay then. First name, just sit and wait, we'll, I would like to say doctor will see you soon, but we'll, we'll be in touch ASAP. And then GIF, it's been a really giffy day so gifts it will be wrap it up maybe that would be one your your cancel day is a bit bad so maybe maybe we will go with this one it's goofy so goofy is good but yet again, as I repeated, like at least a gazillion billion times yesterday, uh, whatever you choose to do with your bot, it needs to be on brand. So lucky me that I can now basically just play around here and showcase the different opportunities we can do. But it's really important to really be on brand when it comes to that. Okay, then. Moving on a bit, let's create like another UI for this. So we could we could use the one we currently have. We could use this one. Yeah, probably. But to make it really stick out and to make it really like again something a bit different, we can use different colors, different things for it. Let's see what 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 could we do? Is there something we could pick apart? Mm. 
There we go. Let's have this one. Again, yet again, a thing I, I think I should remember. <laughs> but yeah, that's not me. So, demo. There we go. Well, basically, that's already there, isn't it? Yep. Okay, well, let's just. Let's go with that one. Okay, and then we can see what we just created. From preview, okay, but that's not good. I'm not happy with that. Let's go back. Oh yeah, the basic setups. We're not in place. Heavy, okay. Let's try again. How it would look. Oh yeah, much less disturbing. So quick and simple way to also see how it how it would look and work. Okay, let's go. Uh, we are doing everything correctly. And then reaction, okay, intriguing. And then we basically ask for permission to gather their contact information. So are you up for it, chat? Yes, does this bind me to something? Oh, it's greatness. And then just reassuring the person that we are actually not going to bombard them with messages like un until their last breath. So let's get to know each other a bit better. And who are you? Then nice to meet you. Again, addressing them with the first name. Hi. And then again, phone number. Asking for the company information. And then it addresses the company, which make this so much more personal. So then just thank them for sharing. All the information is really valuable for you and it's a big deal for them to actually give it out like that, like literally like that. But hey, we are all set here. Would you like to ha leave a note of your own for our team? Questions, additional information about your situation, your goals and dreams? Absolutely. I would definitely love to talk about myself. Then share the note. And then end with grace or with a gift or both. But yet again, addressing them with the first name, that's really nice personal touch to it. So that's goody, goody good. There. And if we'd like to check some other path, let's see, soon tell me how. Guess we could make it a bit smaller as well, but. It is what it is now. Okay, we like the tools, we like the data, we are doing everything correctly, that's what we checked already. Uh, let's go with we like the data. And then again, gaining the additional information at this point. So this would tell us already what is their pitfall currently and where we could help them. Yeah, this is bind you anything. Let's get to know each other a bit better, and so on, and so on, and so it goes. One check. Okay, yes, we are. Nothing is stopping us. And then <laughs> it was a gif again, because they can. But basically, that's how it would be done. And 
let's create a quick list of the things that you need to take into account when you are building a bot for uh, a SaaS business and for a lead generation in that end. So make sure your product or service, basically at this point software, is understandably or somewhat understandable. Let's put it this way. And understand the pitfalls your clients might have or your prospects can have when navigating through your site. What are What's the information they're looking for? What's the pain? Why are they even looking at your software? What are they looking to gain? So as said, especially uh, this is an easy example for me to use, but here it's rather, rather simply put. We help SMEs turn website visitors into qualified leads. Boom, value prop right there. Then using our product for showcase how it can be done. Then going into the details of the pain point of the person visiting your site, trying to understand them and that will also provide really, really, really valuable data for you as well. Then, okay, more sales, more leads, more applicants, whatnot. Let's go with more leads. Then, uh, like providing uh, additional information and still keeping it really on point with the person who is interacting with the bot. So really keeping it valuable at all times. And then gaining a bit of that in all important data and like building a rapport at the same time. So answering the questions, okay, giving like reactions, super, and then uh, here, okay, you can find additional information if you are looking forward to check it out. Let's just skip it. Like whatever is the most natural, easy, quick, trustworthy way for your website visitor to interact with a bot on your site. That's really good one. Uh, create a report, create a relationship, don't be pushy, don't ask anyone to marry you until you actually know them and there's a relationship between you and this is this just did not turn into a relationship clinic because this really works when it comes to con conversions as well so we are still here with Lido MT's conversion clinic don't worry but these are the things to keep in mind when you are creating a lead gen bot for this use for software as a service. And yet again, I would really, really, really uh, say that go check this blog post out about the design process because here's gazillion billion times the same things as I've gone through here today and yesterday and the day before because these principles work whatever the use case. First ask all the questions, know the audience, know the pain, what are they looking for, um, how educated buyers they, buyers they are and this when it comes to software as a service it's it's super important because are they familiar even with what you are doing and are they wording your software and their need in a similar manner because if not there might be an actually huge gap between so if if we if we are talking about 
lead generation and conversational marketing are our buyers actually using a really different kind of wording and how to meet them in the middle in a in somewhat a common ground and how to, how to educate them that it's more than just one piece of the puzzle it might it, it really can be the whole picture the whole image so that's definitely something to keep in mind when starting to build this but if this feels like a lot which I completely would understand that it just might don't worry because we at Lido are super proud to have the service actually with a capital S in it because our bot builder extraordinaries are happy to build the first bots for you and then we are going to optimize them again and again and again and we are going to teach you as well how to really get to those extraordinary results with the bots on your side so if it feels a bit lot now I can assure you that we will take that away and we will do our very best and beyond to help you out with any questions you might have and with any worries you might have any hesitations even just hit it and we will solve it do not worry but at least at this point when it comes to this rather high level and example things uh, it's really pouring down hi Anthony uh, pouring down to this basic 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 things the same questions same things because the same principles work thank thank you Anthony I'm really well hopefully you are too and as established in this blog post as well uh, you don't have to have all the answers per now or you do not have to have like everything already in place and set up you do not have to know everything it's fine because we are here to help and the bots can gain a ton of the information you might feel you're lacking so as we build here in our bot dialogue that we lack the data we do not know what's up what's going on it's okay it really is because with this you will gain the data you will gain the information and then you can optimize from there you can you can use it for your communication your marketing purposes wherever you feel the need and especially when it comes to converting the leads when you know a bit better then you can be more on point and then be there really like in the right time right place kind of thing and with software it really might be that what what they're looking for comes to the communication the wording everything and uh, this do they actually understand the portfolio what what's the thing because there might be some differences but yeah this is something that would be really 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 important to take into account and I sincerely hope that you enjoyed today's stream and seeing how this kind of bot can be built and approached there's as many approaches as there are sales businesses for sure but 
there are some key principles that work every time. Every time. Basically with all the industries. So if you'd like to have a chat about this, you can find me on LinkedIn and shoot me on Twitter. So in LinkedIn, I will share this link in, in the chat. In LinkedIn, you can find me easily, basically first name, last name, but if you are not familiar with it, with me yet, oh my god, you will be. <laughs> And then you can also find me in Twitter. Just a second. Here we go. Fast. What up? I'm good. How are you, Homer J? And then in Twitter, it's a bit different nickname again, which is sad, <laughs> but it, that's how it is. There we go. In Twitter, the link is here. Ta da! And if anything comes to mind, you would like to know anything, please just hit me up somewhere and then we can go from there. Let's see how Lead MT could maybe help you to convert those leads. But hey, thanks for joining today. And if you just came by, <laughs> you are you are still unsure what I am trying to do. It's fine because I was just about to say if you just joined, then you might not actually understand what I was doing. So it's fine. But these streams will be uploaded on Lido MT's YouTube channel later on. So you will find this one and the two previous ones there as well. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and in LinkedIn because I will share the direct links there. So you will see everything we've been addressing for the past three days here. But hey, it was a blast yet again. And let's see you next week here so enjoy your weekend